today we're going to be making envelopes. Um, quite a special envelope, it's this one. And inside it, your field notes or similar sized booklet. Why would you want one of these? Well, um, first of all, it's a cheap carry around case. And secondly, if you accumulate a few of these, it's a great way of storing them for archive. Can you write on the front? Of course you can. You can index your contents, which will protect the book and what's written inside it um, for long-term storage. So where do we start? Well, this is where we start. With the cereal box. Now, most of that you're not going to need, but what you are going to need is a rectangle cut from the middle of it. Now, the dimensions of that rectangle um, you'll find in the comments, it's slightly larger than the Field Notes book. So if I put a Field Notes book there by comparison, you can see it overlaps the top and the edge just slightly. You need this at the first stage of making your envelope. What you're going to do is take an ordinary piece of paper, it can be letter sized A4 um, or anything larger than that I suppose and you're going to need a pencil to draw around the template. Now once you've made a few of these you'll probably do what I do and simply mark the four corners but so you can see what's going on I'm going to draw right around. Okay, so there is your rectangle. That's going to be the size of the front of the envelope. Now all that you need to do is taking a very sharp knife. You can use a ruler, but uh, I don't bother too much. From the corner, cut out some shapes, and you want to be close to parallel with the lines that you've marked, but at a slight angle. The exact angle isn't too important, as long as it's relatively shallow. Now these parts here are folded up to form the back of the envelope. This becomes the bottom flap and this becomes the top flap. So these two flaps we need to shorten a little. And now it becomes simply a matter of folding and gluing. So, fold in the sides. And use some glue. To stick this flap down on the one opposite. If you were to take a little bit more care, you'd be careful to align these so that the glue doesn't get out of control and stick your envelope closed. And then the bottom flap. and then fold over, but importantly, don't glue the top flap. I can laugh about it now, but um, I have done exactly that in the past. So there's the envelope, and you'll find it's exactly the right size just to slip in the field notes cover. 
your field notes booklet, I should say. Okay, so what else can you do? Can you make it from craft paper instead? Yes, of course you can. Um, could you perhaps decorate it? Yep, you can decorate it if you want to. Could you use a magazine cover? Yes, of course you could. Another thing that you can do is this. Cut off the top flap. There's a little bit of the depth. Then using a corner, sorry, a circular punch can do it with a knife or some scissors, I'm sure, if you don't have one. You can make these finger guides, and then all of a sudden you have a pouch, a kind of quick access pouch, which sounds very wrong, doesn't it? Um, a great idea for these is if somebody sends you something in a Tyvek envelope, recycle the envelope into one of these, and it becomes then quite a hard wearing case for carrying about. I just wanted to share one more idea with you, which is if you make the template slightly smaller and you make a slightly smaller envelope, then you can do something really quite interesting with it. Turning it over so that the back faces you with a little bit of glue or tape, you could stick it there in the back of your field notes booklet and all of a sudden you've got a handy little envelope for storing receipts, tickets and what have you. So there's the idea. Hopefully you can see that that's a very easy project you can do at home in no time at all.